Throughout all of human history, few things in the sky have captured our imagination quite like a comet. These silent wanderers, giant cosmic snowballs of ice and rock, travel through the absolute darkness of space, and every so often, they give us an incredible show. But one comet has been with our civilization for thousands of years, a reliable visitor returning generation after generation. Its official name is 1P Halley, and it's the first comet we ever predicted would return, a huge win for science. It's been there for the rise and fall of empires, a constant in our history. Way back in 1066, a fiery, long-haired star appeared in the English sky. People thought it was a terrifying omen, and it was so important that it was stitched into the famous Bayeux Tapestry, right next to the Battle of Hastings. That star was Halley's Comet. It comes back on a predictable schedule, but its trip isn't always the same length. Its orbit can take anywhere from 74 to 79 years. Yet its last visit in 1986 was a massive disappointment. For most people, it was just a faint, boring smudge, maybe the worst viewing in over 2,000 years. But in 2061, Halley's Comet isn't just coming back. It's predicted to return with a roar, putting on a celestial show more spectacular than anyone alive has ever seen. So what makes its next visit so different? And why are astronomers so sure it's going to be an unmissable historic event? For most of history, comets were seen as bad omens, terrifying and unpredictable visitors from the heavens. That all changed in the early 1700s thanks to an English astronomer named Edmund Halley. Using his friend Isaac Newton's wild new ideas about gravity, Halley studied the records of bright comets from 1531, 1607, and 1682. He noticed their paths were almost identical and made a crazy prediction. These weren't three different comets, but one single comet returning over and over. He bet it would show up again in 1758. Halley didn't live long enough to see if he was right, but the comet did return, exactly as he predicted. It was a game-changing moment for science. It was the first time an object beyond the planets was proven to orbit our sun, showing that Newton's laws of gravity worked everywhere. They named the comet in his honor, and it became our first periodic comet. It travels on a huge 76-year journey that takes it out just past the orbit of Neptune before it swings back toward the sun. Its return is woven into our history, from ancient Chinese records in 240 BC to its legendary appearance during the Norman Conquest. In a way, it's humanity's comet. Anyone who remembers the hype for the 1986 return probably remembers the letdown. After all that waiting, the world looked up and saw, well, not much. The comet was so faint you needed binoculars, a far cry from the brilliant sights of the past. So what went wrong? It wasn't the comet's fault. It was just cosmic bad luck. The problem was all about geometry. In February 1986, when Halley was at its closest and brightest point to the sun, the Earth was on the complete opposite side of the sun. We were in the worst possible seats for the show. By the time we got a little closer, the comet was already flying away, getting dimmer and dimmer. Add in the growing light pollution from our cities, and any chance of seeing it was basically gone. But the 1986 visit wasn't a total bust. For the first time ever, we sent a fleet of spacecraft, the Halley Armada, to see it up close. The European Giotto probe got incredibly near, giving us our first ever picture of a comet's core, a dark potato-shaped rock just 15 kilometers long. We learned that comets really are dirty snowballs that spew gas and dust when the sun heats them up, creating the coma and tail we see. The missions in 1986 completely changed our understanding of comets, but for the average person, the show just wasn't there. This is where the story gets insane. The terrible alignment that ruined the 1986 show will be completely flipped in 2061. The next pass is predicted to be one of the best in centuries, all because of a perfect celestial setup. On July 28, 2061, Halley's Comet will hit its closest point to the sun again. But this time, Earth will be on the same side of the sun. We'll have a front row seat. The comet's closest approach to us will happen just a day after its closest approach to the sun, meaning we'll see it when it's at its absolute brightest and most active. How bright are we talking? In 1986, Halley's brightness peaked at a sad plus 2.1 on the magnitude scale, where lower numbers mean brighter objects. In 2061, it's expected to hit a magnitude between 0.3 and maybe even 2.2. At its peak, that would make it about 12 times brighter than in 1986, shining as brilliantly as Jupiter or Sirius. 
the brightest star in the sky. There's another thing that will make the show even better. Forward scattering. When the comet is between Earth and the sun, the dust in its tail will catch the sunlight and scatter it forward right at us. It's like looking at a dusty window when the sun shines through it. Suddenly, you see all the dust glow. This effect can make a comet look way brighter. In 1910, Halley was incredibly bright, but it was actually a different comet that year, the Great Daylight Comet of 1910 that was famously seen in broad daylight. While the 2061 show won't be quite that extreme, the geometry is perfect for a major brightness boost from forward scattering, which could make it appear more than eight times brighter. The show is set to start in late spring and early summer of 2061 and will be best for people in the Northern Hemisphere at first. In mid-June, you'll be able to see the comet in the morning sky and it will get brighter every single day as it flies toward the sun. By early July, you should easily see it without a telescope. The absolute best time to watch will be late July and early August 2061. Around July 28th, the comet will be so bright you might be able to see it in the twilight of both the evening and morning sky. You can expect to see a brilliant glowing head called the coma and a dust tail that could stretch across a huge part of the sky. After it passes us, it will move into the evening sky, becoming an amazing sight in the west-northwest right after sunset. Of course, to get the best possible view, you'll need to get far away from city lights. Even though Halley is predicted to be bright enough to see from some cities, its tail's full glory will only be visible under a truly dark sky. This will be a global event, a chance for a whole new generation to share a moment of wonder. The 2061 return will be more than just a pretty sight. It's going to be a scientific jackpot. Our technology has taken a gigantic leap since 1986. The telescopes we have now, on the ground and in space like the James Webb Space Telescope, are insanely powerful. Imagine the pictures they could take. But the real excitement is in planning new space missions. Nothing is funded yet, but scientists are already dreaming. Halley's orbit is tricky. It moves incredibly fast and orbits in the opposite direction of the planets, making it hard to catch. A mission to actually orbit the comet is tough, but the science would be incredible. A lander could analyze what the comet is made of in detail, and a sample return mission that actually scoops up some of its dust is the ultimate goal. Studying Halley is like looking back in time. It's a leftover from when our solar system was born, and its chemistry holds clues about how planets, including ours, were built. By comparing the data from 2061 to 1986, we can see how the comet has changed after another trip around the sun which will teach us how these cosmic travelers age. You can bet that space agencies all over the world will be focused on this event. Halley's Comet is a powerful reminder of our place in the universe and the unstoppable passage of time. Many people who were disappointed in 1986 will get a second chance to see it in all its glory, and a whole new generation will see it for the very first time. From a terrifying omen on an ancient tapestry to a triumph of science, Halley's Comet has been a constant in the human story. Its dust still gives us a show every year with the Eta Aquariid and Orionid meteor showers, a little reminder of its legacy. But in 2061, the real thing returns. It won't be a faint ghost. It will be a brilliant spectacle of light and motion. If you remember 1986, share your story in the comments. And if you want to stay updated on this and other incredible stories from our universe, make sure to subscribe.